want to do when we're trading is we want to prepare for the day. So one of the ways that we prepare for the day is we just get an idea. We look at our daily charts. And these are the daily charts right here. Um, I can look back. You know, I can scroll back and see what the price has been doing. Um, you know, all the way back here, April, May, June. So I can see that the price a couple of months ago in August was, was down to here. And then it, it moved up to here, and the price went down to there. Price went all the way up to here. It pulled back a little bit. Um, now in December, I'm going to erase those lines that I just created. Um, and, and now in December, into November and December, it raised back up to this level. And then it, it came down a little bit. Now, we, were, we would be expecting it to go all the way up to this level here. Okay? I was saying we may even hit 2200 as 2200 by the end of December. I don't know that that'll happen, but we were kind of poised for that kind of movement. Um, and then last week, unfortunately, we had those shootings in California. I think the market reacted to those, um, and we, we pulled back a little bit. And it was a little bit um, strange because that day I said, hey, I don't know if a Russian jet's going to crash into a, a, a tanker somewhere or something, right? You know, you never know what's going to happen. And, and then, indeed, that day we did have a, a tragedy there in California. Um, so our prices are always over here to the right. These are what the prices are. Okay. And we don't purchase at those prices. We just, uh, we, we don't really buy anything. We enter into contracts to buy and sell. It's kind of like if you were, it's, it's kind of like uh, we enter into, enter into a contract, like a lease with the option to buy, really is what it's like. And um, so we enter into a contract, and it costs us somewhere around $5 to do that, okay? Uh, maybe $4.60, maybe, maybe you're $5.20, who knows? In that contract, you're locked in at a price, and then later on, if you sell that contract and the price went up, <clears throat> then you make money. If you sell the contract and the price goes down, you lose money. And you pay the difference between the two prices times $50. So every time the price goes up a dollar, okay, per contract, you make $50. And you could trade as many contracts as you want. Now, we're going to actually be doing that later. And um, I bring up uh, a brokerage account, and we'll trade some live money. And I walk people through the risk and reward process of evaluating the trade. I'm not a broker. I'm not a trade caller. But I do call trades. <laughs> um, I don't broker. I don't get into that. So it's a whole other can of worms. Okay? You're here to educate yourself and to be an autonomous, independent kind of trader. That's what you're really here to do. I'm gonna bring up the I'm gonna bring up the chart that we use to trade on. Okay? There's a chart we use to trade on. Now we look for certain movement patterns. Uh, right now, all morning long, the price has been dropping severely. We stay out of that. We stay out of that. Uh, most people would jump in on that. We don't. That's because most people are, um, they have indicators that tell them to, you know, now's the time to sell. Um, what we do is we give ourselves the biggest advantage possible utilizing, you know, some basic money management principles and basic economic principles, okay? And we're going to be talking about those throughout the day. I'm also going to be talking about a lot of things that don't appear to have anything to do with trading. People come on and visit, and they get real impatient. Um, 
And I could tell immediately they're never going to be good traders if they keep up that attitude. You have to be patient. Trading isn't about making all the trades you can. and It is not about winning trades. You know, how do I pick a winner? Guess what? You don't. Anybody that tells you that is full of themselves. You don't pick winners. You know, this ain't the dog track. Okay? You take trades that are probabilistic. In other words, there's a high probability of winning that trade. You know, you're not you're not picking winners. Just because something has a high probability of happening doesn't mean it's going to happen. Okay? Uh, and you have to get over that. And that's the hardest thing for people to get over. For example, if you're driving to work in the morning, you know that if you take a certain route to work, you're probably going to get to work on time. But guess what? The day that you have the meeting, that's important. You know, everybody's got to be there. Guess what happens? That day there's a wreck on the road. And so that day you, you're, you, get, to work, you get to work late than when you normally would have. Well, it was, you know, 90% chance that day that you would get to work on, that's on time. But that was the one day that the 10% you didn't get to work. Does that mean that the next, the, you know, the, the next time you go to work that you don't, you know, you don't take the same route or, you, you know, what's wrong with that route? How come, how come there was a wreck today? Well, you don't know why there was a wreck today. Get, you know, just don't even waste your time thinking about it. Um. There's always a wreck there. Well, if you know there's always a wreck there, then, you know, maybe you need to wake up five minutes earlier. You know, um, there's never a wreck there, but this time it messed me up. Why this time? Well, you don't know. It's the same thing in trading. You you know what will probably happen. And it's, but it's not 90%. It's just 60%. 60% such and such is going to happen. And it may be 50% that something's going to happen. So you want to operate within those parameters. And if you're not operating within the parameters of 50 and 60% of something happening, then you're probably over trading or your expectations are too high. And you'll never be a good trader. When you learn to operate between 50 and 60% success and don't worry about don't worry about these losers. These are what you're concerned with, but you don't want to analyze them. Okay? Because you never know when they're coming or how many of them in a row they're going to be. All you know is, is over the course of time, this is what happens. These are all the rules, really, that we ever really talk about in trading. I just put them up on the, on the screen. These are all the rules to trading. And we'll talk about these as trades come in. But basically, you look at this line right here. If it's green... The trend is up. If it's blue, the trend is down. And then you match a blue ball with a blue line or a green ball with a green line. Now, there's two kinds of days that mess you up. One is a day like today where the price is just dropping. It did pull back. Didn't give us a ball, but it was a good pullback signal. Okay? Uh, and so it's, it's really, really dropping. The other days that give you problems is when the when it goes, when, when the price moves around that moving average, those days give you a problem because the days aren't trending. And uh, so trends, prices drop, prices pull back, prices drop, prices pull back, prices drop. If the prices aren't pulling back, then it's not a good trend to get into trades. It's just dropping. And we want to avoid getting caught up in that hysteria. So we don't want things to trend too much. We don't want them to trend too little. We want to be right in the Goldilocks zone of trending. We want them to be trending just right. When they're in that Goldilocks zone, uh, it's like taking candy from a baby. It's really easy to make money. Uh, if you start trading and it's not trending in that Goldilocks zone, then you're, you, you're not waking up Goldilocks you're waking up sleeping bears, and it's really easy to lose money. So the risk uh, is really, really high. This has been another Delta Trading Group tip of the day. If you would like to join us for a live trading session, 
go to our website and enter your name, email address, and phone number, and click Visit Us. We look forward to seeing you soon.